Hey friends, if you are new here, my name is Tarun and I am a 4th year student in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at IIT Kharagpur. And in this video, I will be sharing my 3 years experience being a Mechanical Engineering undergrad in India. So by the end of this video, if you are someone in your 11th or 12th, you will get a perfect clarity on whether you should consider a degree in Mechanical Engineering. And if you are already in your college and are in your 1st or 2nd year and are in a core department like Mechanical, you will get to know all the career opportunities that you have in the future. So watch the video till the end. Let's go. Before a few days, my fourth year class has started and one of the profs says, no one will fail in this course. Attendance is not mandatory. You can directly come for the exam and everyone will pass in this exam. This is because this course is getting removed from the curriculum next year. See, that's how irrelevant the courses have become. Like, this is the most general equation for the distortion energy theory. This? Seriously? Like, what will I even do with that? Do you think this equation is going to be useful in my entire life? Like, look at all these courses. This is my third semester. This is the fourth. This is the 5th and this is the 6th. And I've successfully mugged up all the formulas and theories. I've scored good enough, but I don't remember any of this right now. Like, why will I even remember? What's the point? I'll remember something if I ever feel that it would be helpful for me at some point of my life. But now with negligible amount of companies coming to hire someone for a core job, what do I do with all these theories in the book? When everyone needs a person who can code, why does this department even exist? You can at least reduce the number of students in these departments. It's all about supply and demand, right? When there's negligible demand for mechanical engineers in the society, why would you still give admissions to so many students in this department? And you might be wondering, why did I even choose mechanical engineering then? I don't know dude, I don't know. I was 17, I was really good at physics, so I thought mechanical engineering is the way to go. And to be honest, in IITs, you don't decide which branch you will get. Your rank determines which branch you will get. And this case is not only with me, but many of my friends also. But finally, when I was entering my third year, that's when I got to know that I f***ed up. So for all my juniors who are yet to enter the college, I would request you to prefer circuital branches over departments like mechanical, chemical. If you are taking admission in some good colleges like IITs, NITs or BITS, no matter which department you take, you can always learn DSA and get a good placement. But if you are taking admission in normal colleges, there's no point to choose MEC. Almost all my batchmates in mechanical engineering department try for non-core placements. Most of them start learning DSAs from the first year of the college and try for internships and placements in software or data. These companies don't care about your department. All they care about is how well you can code and if you have any projects in this domain. One of my seniors from mechanical engineering department got placed for 60 LPA last year as a software engineer. And talking about projects, this video is sponsored by CodeDam. So CodeDam is a platform where students can learn to code by building projects and getting expert feedback. It has interactive playgrounds where students can complete challenges, build projects and share the final link of the web app they have built anywhere, even on resumes. They have a bunch of free courses from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, ReactJS and a lot more. You also get the access to a complete roadmap for becoming a full stack web developer. And once you finish a course or a project, you'll be provided with certifications as well. So if you are someone who is aiming for a software engineering role, check out codedam.com. Link in the description. And coming back to the topic, there are a few more profiles other than software or data analytics that my classmates prepare for. A few of them try for placements in consultancy, finance or product and the average package is actually good. And only a very few students prepare for core placements. This is mainly because there are less opportunities and even the companies which come provide less packages. People say that there's exponential growth after you get the job, but I don't know. Now let's talk about opportunities other than college placements or private sector jobs. See, if you're in mechanical engineering department and are really passionate about it, you can go for higher studies or research. There are exams conducted by BARC, ISRO every year and if you can crack them, that's it, life set. A few of my classmates are planning to appear for GATE so that they can go for MTech in good college or get into PSUs like BHEL, NTPC, etc. And there are engineering services exams which you can always go for. So finally, what I'm trying to say is that if you are really passionate about something and can work your ass off for that, you'll be able to succeed no matter what the circumstances are. So even if you are from mechanical engineering department, if you can be the topmost student in the class, no one can stop you. But the question is, are you willing to work that hard or are you looking for an easy way out? With that being said, if you want to know about my first year experience in the college, watch this video on the right. And that's all for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you very soon.
Shit.